Hello everyone, I'm Vivi and welcome back. You might be wondering why put so much emphasis on Carmelita Montoya Fox, right? For the majority of the franchise, the game's narrative revolved around our trio, the Cooper Gang. However, we can't forget the fact that Carmelita slowly got introduced to our circle. This isn't about her chasing after Sly trying to throw him behind bars type of situation. We're talking about this in a more literal sense. With time, not only has she grown fond of Sly becoming her love interest, but the fact that she also got introduced as a playable character throughout the series, albeit very slowly and surface level to sort of speak. Carmelita works for Interpol, and still does. As briefly stated, she always, always tried going after the ring tail ever since she laid eyes on him on top of that opera house in Paris. For those wondering where this is from, this is comic issue number one which was published back in 2004. This is the very first time they laid eyes on each other. On purpose even according to Sly, he wanted to get caught and meet this agent of Interpol. And ever since that day, these two have always been up each other's noses. Either be it kissing or helping one get out of a messy situation. You know that one time when Carmelita got thrown under the bus by Neela? Yeah, that was quite a bump on the road for Carmelita, but in the end, Sly was there. And perhaps will always be. In Sly 3 Honor Among Thieves, we got the chance to play as Carmelita here and there. We had the first episode, shooting down guards, we had our encounter with Dr. M's Beast, Oh, and uh, let's not forget her telling Sly he's her partner, Constable Cooper. She thought he had amnesia. Well, yeah, about that. It came to a point where Carmelita wanted to believe that Sly had changed, but deep down she knew that Sly was still Sly. Just the mere fact she wanted Sly as a partner at Interpol, using his so-called amnesia to get even closer to him, well, that, ladies and gents, just goes to show that despite their differences, how they handle justice and all, she likes him. Almost gets the sense of thrill, always trying to capture him. Heck, if that scene in Sly 2 wasn't a blatant hint at that, I don't know what is at uh, this point. I'll be seeing you soon, Ringtail. Now, during actual events of Thieves in Time, she got tangled up in Le Paradox's affairs and found herself back in time. They all eventually had no choice but to team up together and return to the present. In terms of gameplay, we could walk around as her in the hubs, had a shooting range mission, we defeated a whole boss as her, and yes, even dancing. All in all, we've come to realize that Carmelita has slowly entered our gang's circle, going off the assumption that she's going to look for Sly with Bentley and Murray, then perhaps we could agree that we'll get to explore all that untapped potential of hers, both in terms of gameplay and story. If you didn't know, according to the Sly Collection official strategy guide, Carmelita is a fourth generation cop in her family. Let's not confuse this with fourth descendant. Generation could mean members of her family tree from way back. Not necessarily referring to her mother or father in this case, it could be great-grandparents, for example. Now according to the information the Sly Wiki was able to uncover from an old PlayStation official website, Carmelita studied at Sleuth Academy and graduated at the top of her class. She eventually graduated at the police academy with honors and then moved on to the investigative services division at Interpol. Here's another cool hidden little gem I stumbled on a while back. At some point during the release of Sly 2 Band of Thieves, there was a short one-page comic in Spanish, there's a translated version on the wiki, and from what we see here, the gang were on a diamond heist. The Diamond of Tuxmal, if that's how you pronounce it. They find a gem and realize there's a key inside. That key was used to open a temple door in what appears to be Egypt according to Bentley. Ah yes, Egypt, doesn't that ring a bell? They enter the temple and realize the key unlocks a door to the actual diamond. Carmelita then barges in with a motorcycle, I see. Now wouldn't that just be a fantastic new mechanic for Carmelita? She takes the diamond, but it doesn't mean the gang was left empty-handed. They did find a pile of loot afterwards. Just these little small things make you wonder, doesn't it? Imagine playing as Carmelita and her slowly reminiscing or stumbling upon situations which resonate with her past. Sly has surely reminisced his father's advice at least looking at comic issue 1. Why not Carmelita? Sure, it's not guaranteed that her parents or one of them were part of law enforcement, 
It could be our grandparents, as stated before. Knowledge and stories could have still been passed down, enough to inspire Carmelita to follow in her ancestors' footsteps. Going with the assumption that Carmelita will be involved in the search of Sly, we'll potentially dive deeper into her character's psychology. The way she analyzes things on her own, or the way she thinks when looking around for clues or stopping bad guys even. This reminds us of comic issue 1, when she was looking for Sly, when they stole the Venus to Wallow, just her analyzing the area for clues and all, just imagine something like this mixed in actual gameplay and deep atmosphere. She could be looking for actual clues, anything that could help her in finding Sly's whereabouts in Egypt. Heck. She might have to revisit her old school's library, just walking around the library in search for any sort of clue, anything she could use to report back to Bentley. And that's the tricky part. We have to realize she's working with the Cooper gang. For years, she'd been chasing after Sly. How would she keep this all a secret? She did in a way succeed at concealing Sly's identity during his so-called amnesia. As for why no one ever recognized Sly during that time, well, we could thank his disguise for that. He was wearing pants, <laughs> that's one thing, and let's not forget the master of disguise, Thaddeus Winslow Cooper III. However, things are different now. How would she justify her sudden random outings at Interpol? Surely one might start growing suspicious. If anyone at Interpol ever found out that Carmelita was smuggling resources out of Interpol, I mean that's one risk she might be willing to take if it meant finding Sly. Heck, isn't the paradox behind bars? He knew that Carmelita was running around with Sly. What would he do with that information if Carmelita ever decided to interrogate him? That actually would be a very intriguing dialogue tree segment, giving the player the choice to interact whichever way they want, choosing the right questions and answers. She might even lose her cool, her emotions being toyed with by the paradox. She could lose it to a point where she might give rise to suspicion. We'd like to think Penelope got the chance to escape even before she got interrogated. Her too, out of all people, knew about Sly and Carmelita's affairs. She too could risk Carmelita's job at Interpol. Carmelita struggling emotionally to keep her job and sanity intact, while also trying to help Murray and Bentley without looking suspicious, that make for one heck of a compelling and in-depth story for Carmelita. All these struggles and challenges of hers could be branched out in a couple of full-fledged episodes, either completely solo, doing her own thing, like imagine her chasing after a criminal in her motorcycle, now that would be a cool sequence, or we could definitely picture her secretly teaming up with Murray and Bentley throughout an episode of some kind, and while at it give her a whole new arsenal of weapons. Sure we had the gadget grid for different types of ammo and Thieves in Time, but we could still go beyond that. And imagining gameplay beyond just fighting guards or bosses, we could switch between different types of weapons and gadgets. Gadgets could be flashlight, magnifying glass, anything she'd use to search out a whole area. Just her being around the gang a lot, and her having feelings for Sly and trying to look for him? There is so many places her future character development could go. With that said, what kind of potential do you see in Carmelita in future stories? Feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments section below. And as always, a massive thanks to my patrons for supporting the channel. And if you'd like to support the channel on Patreon, you can find a link in the description box below. Becoming a patron gives you access to general life updates and hints and teases at upcoming videos. As usual, I've been Vivi, and until next time...